I remember them as a young fella, because they're that voracious, they're always the first ones to the boat. But, um, they got to the stage, there was, a, there was very, very few in any part of the river. In the broader sense, the Ovens River is uh, very, very important. Um, one of the important things for the Ovens River is native fish and in particular the trout cod. Interestingly, trout cod were very common uh, here in the 1950s and then by the 1970s they'd um, completely gone. The Lower Ovens um, is a heritage river, only one of two in Victoria. Um, we've got some fairly healthy populations of Murray and trout cod through this particular area. I mean, back in the 60s and early 70s, is there was a mass de-snagging of the river, and so a lot of the habitat was taken out of the river. So we thought we'd um, come up with a un unique way of actually doing things. So we've built the motels. Here we are back down Carowinchy. We've got another motel that we're about to stick in the Ovens River down here. We've already placed eight or nine of the structures. The motels they um, they form really complex structures for fish habitat. Those fish hotels are actually providing um, great habitat for trout cod and other species as well. The, the valuable thing about the Demonstration Reach project was that it gave us an opportunity to highlight a specific river health focus around fish habitat. A fish habitat seems to really resonate with landholders in the broader community as a, I guess, as a sign of uh, a healthy waterway. I've been a member of the Myrtleford District Sports Fishing Club for probably 40 years. Uh, we have about a kilometre or so of, of river frontage and it's always been of interest to me to keep the waterways um, as pristine as we can. So I've tried to exclude stock completely from the, from the waterways remove the willow trees and get the, the, the river as natural as, as I can get it. Um, we've got half a chance of bringing the whole system back into balance if most um, landholders do the same thing. Part of the rehabilitation is uh, also to put in a fishway. Um, there's a small weir in the Wangaratta. It's uh, had a rock ramp put around it so that the trout cod can actually get up into the catchment the fishway, it's just really a series of strategically placed rocks so it breaks up the flow. I'm hooked on it. I'm hooked on native fish and so is most of my group. I first got involved learning about what was going on along our waterways and why it was being done and I just decided well yes this is something I want to be part of. We have a great turn up of community members to help clean up our waterways collecting rubbish. We also have members who do water watch. The thing I'd like to see is more people using this stretch of the river and enjoying it fishing it and it's just so beautiful. Trout cod are starting to come back rather well. I think they're a fantastic thing and the, the program's been very successful.